Ireland in my camper van journey across I'm actually in the north so I should say Northern Ireland and this is my camper van journey across the country well before we get into the adventuring and photography part let's do everybody's favorite thing which is obviously the van tour because most people are always curious and interested about what it's really like to go camper vanning in a brand new country so you all know that I am from Canada and the most important thing to note is that this is actually the first time I have driven on the opposite side of the road but also the first time in 15 years that I have driven a manual transmission. So the van that I am currently using, which is from the company Camper Van Ireland, they're honestly amazing. It's been really, really great so far um, using the van and just dealing with the company. It's really, really small, which is good for me, obviously, because I need something small to drive but it also packs a lot of space in the actual like camper van unit. The one that I am driving is the Ford Transit. And again, it's really, really small, but what I love the best about driving this van is that the transmission is actually very forgivable. So I had to just throw myself right into it and drive manual. And I found, I haven't even stalled it once. And I found that it's been really, really easy. And when I did almost stall it, like again, it was very forgiving and I was quickly, um, or it was very easy to correct and like get into the right gear. So it took a day to adjust with the driving on the opposite side of the road and the tra the manual transmission, but I've made it work and now I feel like I could drive this everywhere. Roads in Ireland, it's no surprise to everyone that they're extremely narrow and sometimes it really is only one lane going around like corners and stuff. And because of the size, because this is so skinny and narrow, oh, it's just been life saving. I've been able to go down roads that you probably wouldn't if you had a bigger van. So the interior, it is really nicely set up. You could get four people in here for even a week and do a trip as long as you really like each other. But in my opinion, I wouldn't try to get more than three people in here. I think three is comfortable enough. Two is even better. And obviously one single solo, it's just heaven. I have all of this space. There is enough room for four people to sleep, but again, you would have to really like each other. So what I love the most about this van is the bed. The bed is my favorite. I'm actually sitting on it right now, but what I'm sitting on converts into a lay down bed and they also provide like a foam mattress for it. I have stayed in other vans before and you have to pay extra to actually get that foam mattress. So I love that they uh, include this with that. It's actually meant to go up on the top bed where you push up the roof and it sits up there because I think that is a very flat board that's pretty hard but again they include the mattress which is just top because you don't think about those things when you're renting a van like how comfortable is it actually typically they're not without a foam mattress one person so they provided me with bedding but it's just one pretty thin blanket and one pillow but it's been pretty warm here so I haven't felt like overly chilly in the nights but if I was chilly I could turn on the heater which is really really simple and easy to use has a two burner gas stove that runs off of propane which is very handy for cooking and a little sink to wash all your dishes in and I've been here now for three days and I still have plenty of water so they have a really really great watering system they also have a toilet that you can use if you were not camping in a campsite and you were doing a little bit of wild camping which i'm not doing any wild camping so i won't be using this but they do have the toilet that you can use in a pinch which is pretty handy so you're not really left stranded without a, a washroom and favorite thing about this van for me and other vans that I have been in is the storage is really like thought out. So there's plenty of storage and I have a lot of stuff and I'm not even using all of the space that I could be using. So I always really appreciate that because there's somewhere to store everything and nothing falls out and nothing actually moves around, which is really, really nice. The doors on all of the little cupboards stay shut and everything that I have in them is, I would say, pretty well protected. In the back, that is where I store my luggage and I came here with a full-size suitcase. It tucks really nice under the bed in the back and that's where I keep it and when I need to get clothes, I just go out in the back and grab whatever I need and leave it up front with me. 
as I was saying before, there's two beds, the one that I am sitting on right now, and then there is a top bed, which you push up the roof and it expands and it gives you so much more space. I'm not sleeping up in that bed up there, but every time I'm parked and I'm using the van, I still pop it up so that I am able to stand and not crouch when I'm doing things like cooking or you know, cleaning or whatever else. It gives plenty of space when you're able to push up the rooftop. Probably the most important part for people is charging stations. So they have um, outlets where you can plug in things like laptops, batteries, charge batteries for cameras. And they also have a few um, USB ports around the van, which is really, really nice. So my phone is always charged. Anyway, enough about the van. It is time to get out there and start exploring Northern Ireland. So let's go. They don't know. Who you are and they don't care Well I've been there too and it's not over for you I swear So when you open up your mouth and only silence will come out Love is all around I'm hiding from the rain. I, as you can see behind me, there's like this little sort of rock wall that I'm hiding under because it is raining, but it's very, very light rain. I know it's going to pass. So once it passes, then I'm going to get on the dress and get out there and start shooting. I've already set up my camera. I will definitely show you the scene. I'll show you how I set it up. I'll show you why. I'll show you my thought process, but I just wanted to get it all set up so I didn't have to fumble around with it because it's a very tricky scene to compose. And I'm dealing with rocks, I'm dealing with the cliff edge, I'm dealing with flowers, and it's kind of on a bank on a slope, but again, I'll show you in a minute, just waiting for the rain to pass. I would way rather have this moody, um, rainy weather than the sunny weather any day, and I think that it actually makes it look more like Ireland when it is rainy. So, very excited to start creating this. Anyways, enough talking because this is probably going to be quite the long video with multiple scenes that I photograph in it. Time to start shooting. So as you can see, there is my camera down there. I was just covering it because it was raining. This is the little rock ledge that I'm using as a leading line, sort of foreground. I'm going to go and sit on that rock right there. Again, I'm shooting this vertically. I'll show you the back of the camera, how it's set up, but I've also got some, they're covered right now, but I also have some uh, little wildflowers in the foreground as well. And when I show you the scene, I'll explain why I'm doing it that way. But we're starting to get some, doesn't really expose properly on the camera, but we're starting to get a little bit of light, which is beautiful. So it's starting to really light up like this side over here, which likely won't be in the frame, but it'll throw some light on that big rock ledge over there. A rock ledge, it's not a rock, that's like part of the land. Uh, the land over there, it'll start throwing some light. And then we have some really beautiful moody clouds that I'll be able to smooth out with a long exposure. So here is the scene. As you can see, I have the flowers in the foreground. They will be out of focus because I really actually like that look. And then we have this nice rock ledge that leads you straight into the um, land over there. And where you see the focus point is actually where I'm going to be sitting. And then after I take this shot of me sitting on the rock, I'm going to do another one so with a long exposure so I can really smooth out that sky and bring out that drama that I love so, so much. I am photographing it at, if you can see it, at f11 ISO 100 and that should just be perfect for a shutter speed for when I am going sitting on the rock. And then the long exposure will be the same but with a 10 stop ND again to really smooth out those cool dramatic clouds up there.
morning everyone so where we left off was my first yellow dress shoot that you guys just saw and now um, it's actually been a couple days since then and I have been out shooting but I had a little accident with the van um, on one of the mornings I was driving and anyways the roads here are just extremely narrow and I ended up side swiping a pole so that was a little bit of a wake-up call for me to yeah really make sure that I'm paying attention and trying to not hug the left side of the road uh, too tight but anyways I let the van company know and they're really good about it and I'm sure that this happens all the time but yeah that was definitely an interesting day and I also flew if you saw my Instagram stories you guys know that I also flew my drone into my hair trying to get some footage so that all happened in the same day so it was quite the definitely the experience so since then, I have been out creating. I've actually hit up four spots and I went to Dark Hedges. I went to um, Dunluce Castle. I went to Giant's Causeway. I didn't film anything for this vlog for that, but I definitely took some images, which you'll see. Just simply because they are quite busy areas and I just don't feel like all that comfortable filming around crowds and crowds of people. And I actually ended up meeting this fella. He messaged me on Instagram. He's from here. He's a local and he's, um, he's a photographer as well. So he messaged me and I wasn't following him, but he was following me. I checked my message requests, which I never actually checked them because I'm just way too busy. And he was giving me some tips on some spots and we just continued talking. And then one thing led to another and he drove up to where I am and we spent the entire day together and he helped me film. He helped me do drone work. He, and we just honestly had a really, really good day. And He's a really, really lovely fella, so I think I'm going to see him again <laughs> before I leave. Um, yeah, it was amazing. So I, we did a ton of stuff. We hit up all the castles and it's just been absolutely amazing. Now I'm just packing up the van because I'm leaving the little campsite that I'm staying in. It's near um, this place called Bush Mills. So I've been staying here for the last four nights, actually. And now I'm going to go to, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, so I'll put it on the screen. It's called Don, Donengal, Donengal, Donengal. And apparently that's really, really beautiful and everyone keeps recommending to stay there for the remainder of my trip. So there's a church that I want to photograph. So I'm going to take you guys there tonight and obviously show you everything. And yeah, it's been a really, really good trip. I'm so, so happy with the van. Like I can't, it's been amazing. It has been so, so amazing. It is so forgiving to drive. That is the only thing I can stress about this van is it just, yeah, it has a lot of forgiveness for people like me who are still just learning. And you guys, I gotta get packed up and get out there. again with another shoot. This is probably going to be the final one for the YouTube video because if I did them all then it would just be chaotic and it would be way too long. I'm already dressed as you can see. You probably saw in the drone footage exactly where I am. Where I am at, I'm at this beautiful church in the area that I'm staying in and it's actually called the Church of Ireland and it's abandoned and it is epic. Like I never use that word you guys, but it is epic. I am um, just feel so good right now. I honestly feel like I could cry because it just, I'm all alone, no one is here. I have the place all to myself, just endless creation. So that's why I'm already dressed and getting ready to do it all because I'm going to knock off a few shots here. So let's just get right into it and I'm gonna show you the first one that I'm doing. So this is the scene. And of course, as you can see, there's this beautiful light over there, but I'm gonna go sit in that window and have the dress hanging down. And this is how I have it composed. 
So I'm using my 16 to 35 and I'm actually shooting it at thir the 35 end. So it's a little bit tighter, but this really should work with balance because we'll have like me as the main subject right there. And then these beautiful clouds that fan out that way. Really, really actually pleased with this one. I think it's gonna be a beautiful shot. Okay, so you're getting full Sarah experience here. The camera is rolling, I'm doing video and I need to get in that window there. So I've got bare feet on because I don't want to. I'm gonna run because I don't like wasting the um, shutter on the camera. So trying to get around the church as quickly as possible because I have a little bit of a journey to get up on that wall. I've already done the shot. Sorry if I make any of you guys sick, I'm sorry. Okay, in the church. I don't know why I didn't wear my shoes because this is quite painful on the feet. But there's the window that I need to get to. And then I gotta climb up on it and sit on the edge. Oh gosh, this hurts. It hurts. Ah, okay, one more time. The shot came out beautifully, by the way. Like, it really worked out. All right, time to get on the window. Every time we peel back all the layers And we quiet the noise We become two young hearts again Just like the day it all began Oh, it's really just that simple at the center of it all it's just you it's just me oh it's all it ever i really be. hope that you guys enjoyed that whole ireland trip it it's so many unexpected you. things happened but so many great it's things happened me. as well and yeah, I just had a blast out here creating. Tomorrow's my last day. I'm probably just going to go on a hike and not shoot because I am kind of burnt out from creating right now, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this. Please, please subscribe so we can help the channel grow. Give it a like, leave a comment. I love reading all the comments. And I will guess I'll talk to you guys when I'm back in Canada. Bye.